Emily Anderson, and I'm happy to be here with the Sea Wolves. We have Jacob, Danye, and Thomas. And shortly, we will be doing interviews. So we're going to snap that into place by snapping out One, two, Jacob, three. snapping out One, two, Danye, three. snapping out Thomas. See you in a moment. And here we are back. What do you imagine your life being in five years? What's... Well, oh, can I answer that? Yes. Um, in five years, well, those questions are always a little hard for me. It always reminds me of being in college and that question being asked the first time. But I can imagine that I am living in Vermont and that I'm working with interesting groups of people and that I'm living near water. That's what I can imagine. Yes. What's something you would like the teachers and families of Bridging to know? Oh, I, well, I always want them to know how talented you all are and all of the, di the different skills that I feel like appear in bridging moments like this one where you're here interviewing me, Thomas, and all the other things that will be shared in this show. Do you have another question? What's something you would like to be? Surprise video by next week. Something I'd like to be surprised by next week? Yes. Well, I guess I feel like I'm getting pretty traditional. I would love to be in surprised by a, a large amount of money coming into my life. What, what would you do if you got a lot of money, Thomas? I love money to buy a Buzz Lightyear toy. <laughs> Well, thank you for those questions, Light year, Thomas. June 17th, 2022. Awesome. What, uh, thank you for this, those really great questions. They were great questions. I am going to snap. Shall we snap me away? Yes. And you will be soon interviewed by someone. One, two, three. Hi there. Uh, my name is Jacob. And I'm going to be interviewing Thomas Vega with his artwork that he created when we were with Topaz weeks ago. Okay, Thomas, let's go ahead and take a look at the artwork. I like you... Christmas tree shop and the New York City Park and the city tour bus is going to camp to come to Halloween with Mommy and I is going on a city tour bus to go to Camp Halloween. And we got the 2003 Ford truck and... December 2019 came out as Frozen 2, and October 2020 came out is Soul. That's when we'll hang with um, Milani and Daddy and Thomas Vega. That's when Milani sleeps over at Reese the Bear, and Tommy will sleep with Pooh Bear. I like sleeping at night when you go camping for Halloween. I like pet animals as I like the Bugs Bunny rabbit and the shark and a whale and a dolphin and clownfish and butterfly flesh and the sea turtle and the tiger named Tigger and open season bear and the two dogs named Mitzi and Julie and the cat named Kuska from Emperor's New Groove and the sledding. That's like a lot uh, on your artwork. Uh, could you explain what this uh, yellow truck represents the 2003 Ford E450 truck in New York City. Do you often see those vehicles in New York? Vehicles in New York City. The and trolley bus is taking the trip to Great Escape. And I see like a couple of calendars saying uh, October 2020 and December 2019. Do you like to? I hear you like to um, randomly say like the the dates and someone's birthday. Back in December of 1993. Thomas, could you explain what happened on October 2020? Soul. Soul? 
Oh, the movie Soul, that animated uh, Disney movie, right? Pixar. Pixar, got it before Toy Story somewhere. <laughs> the years that Toy Story came out, same year as Toy Story. Saw and Monsters, Inc. Sully walks away from Boo and Ross, and then he slows down. Uh, could you also explain, uh, what is this supposed to be? What does that represent? Open season bear. That, re that represents your open season bear? Open season bear named Boog. I don't think I've ever seen open season. I might have to watch that sometime. And what about that cat right there? What does that represent? Do you have like a cat? Take the cat from home. Pick the cat from home entertainment. The cat from something from home entertainment? Home 2015. Okay. Um, would you like to give me more details on what your artwork has? A bathtub. Zebra. Tigers lives on wild. And you said that tiger represents uh, Tigger, right? Tigger from Winnie the Pooh. Tigger and Owl and Eeyore and Pooh. I also see someone with their skis on. Is that, what does that also represent? Represent of Zerg. Zerg? Uh, what is Zerg? Zerg is from Toy Story and Toy Story 2. I'm kind of poor with characters that I don't know. All I can think of is the main characters from the movies I watch. But I, I think that's just pretty much it. Do you have any more you can explain what your artwork has? The artwork has the New York City Park. I like going on a city toy bus to go to Great Escape Field Trip. That's very nice. Great that, Escape Roller Coaster Rides. Okay, is that it? Yes. Okay, thank you, Thomas. Thank you. Hi, Jacob. I'm Donnie, and I'm interviewing Jacob on what he did in our, for a car pass. Um, so, Jacob, what you? What is this for? So. This side uh, represents what, what's outside of me. So uh, this map of the United States uh, represents my interest in cartography, which is also uh, maps. I have to call it cartography now because I think it's uh, much more cooler. Uh, I have this vehicle that has this uh, trailer attached which represents traveling, which I like to travel. I got uh, this peace sign, or mm -hmm. uh, with two fingers that's sticking up, represents I want peace. Uh, a couple of words saying joy, travel, inspiring, this is what I am. Uh, that line uh, represents pretty much me as a leader. Mm -hmm. And this uh, picture below, I believe it's uh, Rome, I think. Yeah. Uh, this like represents that I like um, architecture. Yeah. Uh, what's the other side? Okay, so this is what's inside of me. So uh, all of this represents uh, my interest with dinosaurs, which is one of my biggest hobbies that I have. And it, when it comes to talking about uh, dinosaurs, it's, I usually be shy to talk about that. Uh, but I've had this interest for like four years, uh, ever since I was a freshman at uh, high school. Um, from now on, I've started to pretty much share this. And uh, I think I'm starting to get the comfort to talk about this. Mm -hmm. Wow, Donye, so great to 
have a chance to talk to you about this artwork you made at uh, Topaz's studio. Topaz Weiss has a studio called Expressive Arts. Whoops, I'm going to take my mask off because we're on the set. Expressive Arts Burlington. And in it, I got to be there and see the sea wolves creating this collage art. So, what was the, remind me, what was the theme? Was how you see, how the world sees you was one side? Mm -hmm. And then how you see yourself was the other outside, side? Yeah. So, the outside. So, tell me about this artwork. Um, this side I did it because I love sports, and I found this to be a cheering or the cheer sporting event, and then this picture reminded me of a football player. Yeah, awesome. I love the the way they go together. There's something about the pom poms they're holding, and then you know his hair. It's just a beautiful composition. Mm. Really cool. And then this other side. Talk about um, this. This remind me of family, and then this one right picture right here. I'm this. I saw another sports picture, so I found skiing. Mm -hmm. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. This this work really represents you know your interests that, and I I I love this year in bridging. I remember thinking about you arriving and being told, okay, mm. he loves sports. <laughs> That's his thing. But we've been in several instances, I know at the BCA Center, where we see art and then we make art here at Topaz's. And then I feel like there was one more. Oh, we were writing poetry mm -hmm. with Edward Burke. But you have definitely moved into expressing yourself through art this year. How, how is, what has that been like for you? Um, exciting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's really fun to watch you engage with it because you can take all your interests mm -hmm. and and then explore with them. That's cool. Mm. I have a bonus question for you. Yeah. How far into your future can you see? Mm. Next year. Next year? Yeah. What's going on next year? The pod search. Ooh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Any anything you want to say about Project Search? If if I'm if excited. Viewers, if the uh, I don't know if every all our viewers know about Project Search. One does. What's that? One does. One does. <laughs> <laughs> Project Search, a great program. Where does it take place? The hospital. Yeah. Yeah. So you'll have like three different internships. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Anything else you want to tell our our viewers? No. Cool. Awesome. Well, thank you, Donye. It was fun interviewing you. Well, You're shall we call the rest of the group back in? Yeah. Okay. Well, here I am with the Sea Wolves. What a wonderful session of interviewing. And Jacob is going to say a few words and close out our show today. It was kind of nerve wracking for me. At some spots, I was stuck at how. I want to say something and I was able to get through the making of this recording and I'm pretty happy about it. I want to say thanks for watching everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can snap. One, two, three.